Hi, how's it going? I'm Malachi Greb, CEO of Elite Automation. We're here at the Fanuc booth, and Fanuc has released a somewhat new product on the market, and I think it's definitely an awesome product. Bin picking and 3D bin picking is, has been one of the things that they've released in the past shows, and, and we have another new product that's in the realm of vision, as well as a new model of robot. Stacy, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for stopping by. Tell, tell us what we have here. Yes, so this is our M710ID 50M. It is a 50 kilogram robot. And one of the new features about it as well is that it has this curved J2 arm. So something that that allows it to do is reach deep down into the pallets or into the carts without hitting the obstacles. So it allows you to get deeper, higher up, gives you a little bit more flexibility when you're planning out your floor space. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because if you don't have that curve in, the, in that J2, then you gotta you know, design your tooling to have some special adapter to give you more reach. Absolutely, it could be offset, it could be extending, but it also allows you to fit in tighter spaces. So if you have a lower ceiling, you don't have to raise up your robot as high as well. Awesome, awesome. So what's so special about this AI box locator? So this is our AI box locator. It's part, one of the products with our IPC, which is this box here. And what this is capable of doing is finding your boxes. It, you don't have to put in the size of box, so you could give it different size boxes. You don't have to train it every day. It automatically comes with trained data. You can always add to it, customize it yourself to make sure it's even more robust than gotcha. when it comes in your door. And what kind of what kind of like trained data would you add would you add to it? Yeah, so you take a few photos. Um, you can use our 3D V. We have a 3D V 1600, one on each side. As of right now, is it is it right. pretty much only able to handle like square rectangle type of boxes, or can it handle like any type of like hexagon or any other odd shapes? It's a great question. Right now, it's just squares and rectangles, as far as I know. I'd love to test it myself. <laughs> Again, it is a new product, so we're also learning with you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Also, too, being that you guys just launched this, mm -hmm. you'll kind of continue to add and develop onto this this new platform here. What about like, can it do mixed skews yet? Yes, so we have been working with mixed skews, especially making sure that it's a robust product. So we're not showing it here today, but it is something coming. Awesome, awesome. And so whenever like mixed skews, if uh, you don't already know what that is, maybe you bring in uh, a pallet that has like a bunch of different size boxes on there. And so like, that's definitely much more challenging than like, a single size box for like palletizing or depalletizing. For this AI box locator, is it working both for the palletizing and depalletizing, or how does that work? Yeah, so we're using the AI box locator for the depalletizing, whether it be single skew, rainbow, or mixed depal. Um, and then we're using our pallet tool program on the palletizing side. So we're showcasing really two products here at once. With the AI box locator, one thing that comes to my mind is that this is gonna be something that's a little bit more simple to deploy and to work with into the future. How, how is that development or deployment of a system like this? Yeah, so when you start deploying, what it's going to be is drop it in and let it run. It's theoretically what it is. It's You have the programs basically there. Um, it's just really the vision side that needs a little touch up for your system. We want to make sure it's customized. We want to make sure it's even more robust than it was initially, right? And can this be purchased for like an existing robot? It can. It can. Yes, this is all um, incorporated. Okay, very nice. So does this have like a specific like generation of robot where it can't like handle this uh, vision application? At most, you'll have to upgrade your software to the latest version, but that's something that's available to everyone with the robot. So all you have to do is upgrade that software, add the option, and you should be good to plug and play. Yeah, because I could definitely also see this being a use case for individuals that uh, maybe they have their robots deployed. Maybe they're kind of struggling with their current like palletization system. Maybe they're doing like a 2D locator or something like that and they can upgrade to this 3D locator, add the software option to their robot, and then be able to deploy it to their existing systems. Yes. Awesome. Stacy, thank you for uh, sharing this information for us. Anytime. And, and Fanic, thank you for bringing this to the market. Uh, it's always good to have new tools that we can we can deploy in the for our customers. Thank you so much. Awesome. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.